probability of getting two heads? What is the probability of getting one head? What is the probability of getting no head? Two coins are tossed. Again, the three approach. First coin, head or tail. Then second coin, head or tail. Yes. This is the possible situation. Now, what is the explanation? Head on the first coin and head on the second coin. Head and head. Head on the first, tail on the second. This is another alternative or another event that is possible. Head and tail. Or tail on the first coin and head on the second. That means tail and head. And the last possibility again is tail on the first and tail on the second. Tail and tail. So, in an experiment consisting tossing two coins, there are four possible outcomes. So, total number of possible outcomes, that is four. Now let us take the first case, probability of two heads, for this particular event, how many favorable outcomes are there for this particular event only, that is only one, head and head, this is the only case where two heads are possible. So, Favorable number of cases. Or favorable number of outcomes is only one. According to classical approach, what is probability of any particular event? Probability of happening of any particular event is the ratio of outcomes favorable to the happening of that event to the total number of possible outcomes. Probability of any particular event is the ratio of outcomes possible to the happening of that particular event that is 1 to the total number of possible outcomes that is 4. So, the probability comes to 1 by 4 or 0 0.25. Yes, next case is probability of getting one head. Yes. How many favorable outcomes for this particular event or in how many ways we can obtain one head only. There are two possible outcomes. Head on first and tail on second or tail on first and head on second. So, the favorable number of outcomes to 2. Again probability is the ratio of outcomes favorable to happening to any event divided by total number of possible outcomes. So probability of 1 head is 2 by 4 or 1 by 2 or 0.5 that is half. So half chance of getting 1 head. Third case is probability of no head. No head occurs in the experiment. The outcomes favorable to no head or zero number of heads is 
only one tail on the first coin and tail on the second coin so favorable number of outcomes is only one so probability of no had comes to 1 divided by 4 favorable cases divided by total number of cases 0.25 now one more interesting thing if the experiment is really performed any one or rather only one out of these four is going to happen that means at a time only one can happen and remaining three cannot that means simultaneous happening of two or more out of these four outcomes is not at all possible if the experiment is performed at a time only once only one out of these four can happen no other outcome can happen at the same time that means simultaneous happening is not possible when the simultaneous happening of two outcomes is not possible then they are called mutually exclusive now another point is any fifth or sixth or seventh outcome is possible is it no fifth or any more than fourth outcome is possible only these four outcomes are possible no other fifth outcome is possible that means this is the least of exhaustive number of outcomes and when the outcomes are mutually exclusive and exhaustive the summation of probability of the outcomes is always one 0.25 plus 0 0.50 plus 0.25 the summation is one that means these three are actually mutually exclusive and exhaustive number of outcomes in an experiment of tossing two coins if you perform the experiment really any one out of these can happen but the probability distribution is actually exhaustive if we take the random variable x as number of heads appearing the number of heads can be 0 or 1 or 2 and the relevant probability comes to 0.25 this one 0.50 this one and 0.25 so this is the explanation of the entire experiment yes what it